how to find the new lush cave biome in Minecraft. In this video, I will try to explain where to find the lush cave biome, blocks in the lush cave, and mobs in the lush cave. This information is accurate as of the 21W42A snapshot. There shouldn't be any changes. If there are any changes, I will do an updated video. Let's start by explaining where to find the lush cave biome. The first thing I should mention is the lush cave won't show up as a biome on the surface if you hit F3. It will only show the overworld or biome on the surface. If you are underground and hit F3, this can show the lush cave biome. The surface can have one biome, while underground there can be a different biome, including the lush cave biome. The lush cave generates underground at any height and usually in areas of forested biomes. The way to find a lush cave is by looking for an azalea tree. These are a unique tree that is above the lush cave. Azalea trees consist of oak logs, azalea leaves, and flowered azalea leaves. The flowering azalea leaves are the most distinct feature of azalea trees and should make it stand out from other trees. The unique part of azalea trees is they have roots under the tree that consist of rooted dirt blocks. These blocks are different shade than dirt blocks and using a hoe on them will turn them into dirt blocks and drop a hanging root. The rooted dirt blocks go down to reach a lush cave biome. These azalea trees can also be found in a cave system and lead down to a lush cave biome. The azalea tree can both be underground and on the surface. Also in the 1.18 update, if there is a ravine or an opening to a cave on the surface, you can look into this to see if there is a lush cave biome in the cave. So what blocks can be found in the lush cave biome? The lush cave biome will have a ceiling and floors that is composed of moss blocks, ores, or stones. The floor can have shallow lakes or springs with clay with small drip leaf on them. Or it can have moss, moss carpet, grass, tall grass, azalea, and flowering azaleas. Also there can be glowberries growing from cave vines from the ceiling, hanging roots that connected to rooted dirt up to azalea trees, and spore blossoms on the ceiling. Let's go through and explain each block. Part 1 of the cave update had these blocks, but they all had to be found in different spots. Now they can be found in the lush cave biome. First, moss blocks. Moss blocks can be found in the lush cave, found in shipwrecks, and bought from wandering traders. When moss blocks have bone meal applied to them, they can turn the surrounding blocks into moss blocks. This means stone, granite, diorite, andesite, grass, podzol, coarse dirt, deep slate, mycelium, rooted dirt, and dirt can be changed into moss blocks. Also applying bone meal can generate grass, moss carpet, tall grass, azalea, and flowering azaleas, similar to applying bone meal in biomes to generate flowers. Two moss blocks can be crafted into three moss carpet, moss blocks, and cobblestone can be crafted into mossy cobblestone. Last, moss blocks can be crafted with stone bricks to get mossy stone bricks. The moss block can also be put into the composter and has a 65% chance of increasing the compost level by 1. When it reaches level 7, it produces one piece of bone meal. Second is the flowering azaleas and azaleas. They are a cross between a flower and a sapling. If bone meal is applied to them, they can grow into an azalea tree, but they won't naturally grow into a tree. Bees will interact with azaleas and flowering azaleas, similar to flowers. Also, if you want to generate a bee's nest, planting an oak or birch sapling within two blocks of an azalea or flowering azalea has a 5% chance of growing it into a tree with a bee's nest on it. Both can also be placed in the composter. The azalea has a 65% chance of increasing the compost level by 1, and the flowering azalea has an 85% chance of increasing the compost level by 1. Third is the moss carpets. The moss carpet is another version of the carpet. It can also be used to prevent moths from spawning and are a decorative block. Fourth is the spore blossom. The spore blossom is a decorative block that emits green particles downward. The spore blossom has to be placed on the bottom of a block. The spore blossom is not a renewable block. So if you want to get spore blossoms, you will need to find them individually in the lush cave. Fifth is glowberries. Glowberries grow on cave vines from the ceiling of the lush cave biome. You can apply bone meal to the cave vine for it to grow glowberries. The glowberries have a light level of 14, 15 is the highest in the game. 
To grow glowberries, you have to plant a glowberry on the bottom of a block and it will look like cave vines. Each time the cave vine grows one block, there's a chance it may grow a glowberry. The way the glowberries grow are similar to kelp as the cave vines can grow between 2 to 26 blocks long. The glowberries are similar to sweet berries. They can be eaten to restore 2 hunger and 0.4 saturation and can be used to get foxes to enter love mode and breed. Glowberries can be placed in the composter and have a 30% chance to increase the compost level by 1. Last is the small drip leaf. The small drip leaf will generate in shallow lakes on clay blocks. Small drip leaf also can be bought from the wandering trader. Small drip leaf itself is just a decorative block. However, when bone meal is applied, it turns into big drip leaf. Big drip leaf can be used for parkour. When standing on it, it will slowly collapse until it does collapse and the player falls. Applying bone meal to it will make it grow one block taller. It can also interact with redstone and with projectiles like arrows. The big drip leaf can also be found in the lush cave biome or by getting small drip leaf and applying bone meal. Last is the mobs that generate in the lush cave biome. All the hostile mobs that spawn when the light level is low can still spawn in the lush cave biome. These include spiders, zombies, zombie villagers, skeletons, creepers, witches, endermen, and slimes if it is a slime chunk. However, this may be less likely because the glowberries may increase the light level, reducing the spawning of hostile mobs. The only passive mob that can spawn in the lush cave biome is the axolotl. The axolotl now only spawns in the lush cave biome. For them to spawn, there has to be water in the lush cave biome. The axolotl has four different colors. They can be picked up by clicking them with a bucket of water and releasing them by clicking the bucket of axolotl. The unique thing about the axolotl is they can attack all aquatic mobs except for turtles, dolphins, and other axolotls. They also prioritize hostile mobs over non-hostile mobs. They can also play dead when their health is low to regenerate their health. They can be attached to a lead and taken out of water, although they can only be out of water for 5 minutes before dying. If you want to breed axolotl, you have to feed them a bucket of tropical fish to get them to enter love mode. Thank you.